Uh, the next wound is going to be a puncture. Uh, in this scenario, uh, we have a, a stick that is stuck in, sticking out of her uh, skin, so, which is a, a puncture wound. So again, we want to make sure that uh, we have our, our gloves on. Uh, first thing we, we want to instruct the patient to do is never to push or pull the object out. Uh, furthermore, we want to instruct the patient that the reason that we keep that in is because it is, number one, it's applying direct pressure to the wound, uh, and number two, we do not know the exact um, direction that uh, it went in, so uh, by pulling it out would cause a second, uh, second injury. So, so leave the wound in, um, and if she had to, she can hold it, hold the top um, to keep it from moving. Um, uh, First thing that we want to do is we want to, um, with our saline solution, we want to make sure that we uh, cl clean around the base of the, the wound um, and uh, you know, wipe that up with our gauze if, if we need to, our excess saline. And then after that's dry, we want to take a couple pieces of gauze, clean gauze. And put those at the base of the, the um, item, this knife or stick, pencil, whatever it might be. Um, once we have that there, again, I want to ask the, the patient if she, if she has a good hand, she can, she can help us by holding, holding the items. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to stabilize the, um, the knife so that it's uh, doesn't move. Uh, we can do that by very multiple methods. Uh, we can use a uh, triangular bandage or towel and uh, wrap that around to to support it. Uh, we can use um, uh, uh, elastic wraps if we needed to um, or we can also use um, uh, roller bandages. So I'm going to use the roller bandages. Um, for this case. Uh, the one thing you also you want to make sure is you want to make sure that you um, cover it high enough so that there isn't much sticking out. So um, if you needed to make uh, multiple uh, layers, uh, you can do that. Uh, once it's covered enough, um, we, then we want to stabilize uh, the uh, wraps on the side or towels, whatever you put on there. So again, without, hopefully without making much movement to the punctured item. We're going to go around the wound. And then again, you can do this either with uh, an elastic wrap or roller bandage would be the best. Again, you're putting it tight enough so that it's going to stay. It doesn't move. And then the last thing that we would always want to do is check distal pulse uh, at the wrist or capillary refill uh, and sensation just to make sure that the, uh, it's not too tight. Um, and again, we also want to make sure that we refer her uh, to the hospital or, or uh, doctor's office to obviously get that uh, taken out uh, under sterile conditions. And again, reminder uh, not, to, not to move it or bump it on anything. So. And um, also, she might need to uh, get a tetanus shot, uh, depending on what uh, type of object, uh, or check her tetanus shot records just to make sure that they were up to date. Um, and look for sign of inf as an infection um, after the injury. That's it.